Teenager Rugba Hailu, who lives in Adigrat, is at a critical health status due to the lack of food and medication under the siege which is still continuing despite the signed peace deal. Her mother Brunesh Tesfai says that her daughter is now paralyzed and suffering of malnutrition. At this age of hers, I was expecting her to help and take care of me. However, now, I am the one who's taking care of her. That is what makes me cry. The problems we are facing are too many. It is very sad to see her starving and not being able to provide her with anything to eat. Berenash also noted that, in addition to her daughter's health problem, they both are suffering from lack of basic necessities such as food and clothes. <laughs> We are at a terrible condition. We have literally nothing at hand. As you can see, we don't have anything. I'm also very worried as I can't provide anything for her treatment such as sanitary materials and clothes. The mother of this suffering teenager calls for help and wishes that the resumption of basic services would be available soon. I wish that the basic services could be resumed soon by the federal government so that we would be able to get help from other people. Local charity organizer Abraha Gabra Anania says that they were trying to help the mother and the daughter. However, now as the siege is still going, it has become very difficult to take care of them. <laughs> As you can see, they are living in this house which has nothing at all. They are living at a very hard condition. Gabra Anania also added that the governments of Tigra and Ethiopia should work for the implementation of the signed peace deal so that to solve the humanitarian crisis in Tigra. The government of Tigra and Ethiopia should implement the agreement they reached as soon as possible so that we would be safe from this dreadful condition. The two years long siege and suffering should end now.